So welcome to this week's video. Last night we had an absolutely beautiful sleep. The site that we stayed on was really, really quiet and we've gotten up this morning and made our way out towards Padley Gorge. So we're currently parked on Surprise View Car Park. Got out the van and spotted some absolutely beautiful birch trees straight away as we got out. Did a quick look on Google Maps and, and found a path. So headed in that direction. We were hoping to try and get to Padley Gorge, um, but it clearly, <laughs> clearly isn't in the direction that we headed this morning. So we had a little bit of a change of plan and just sort of tried to do some handheld shots um, around the birch trees and the absolutely lovely view that, um, that you have mm. as, as you go up there. If you carry on walking, there looks to be some um, interesting rocks, a bit similar to maybe Brim Brinham rocks. Um, but we've we've come back to the van just to sort of try and uh, regroup and, and maybe think about where we could go. It's currently 11 o'clock and this car park is absolutely rammed. It's so busy. And I am presuming that it's going to be the same everywhere that we go. Um, so... If we sort of head um, maybe down this road and carry on, we might find a little bit of parking on Google Maps. There does look to be a couple of laybys that we can we can pull in and maybe try and get into Padley Gorge. If not, we might just drive and see where we end up and, and maybe just jump out and take a couple of images. So best laid plans because we, we do normally plan exactly where we're going to go. Mm what we want to photograph, where we need to park, the routes that we need to take. Um, we didn't really do that this morning, just got up, had some porridge and a brew <laughs> and headed off the site sort of in this direction really. So a um, little bit different because I say it's not something we would normally do. Um, but by getting out and just having a wonder, again, probably got some shots uh, that we wouldn't have taken mm. hadn't we have not had a plan <laughs> or had a plan rather um so i think what we'll do is maybe make a brew and just head out and, and see where we end up Okay, so we had a nice sandwich in the car, in the van. Can't get used to saying van. Um, had a nice sandwich in the van and decided to come back up um, Surprise View. So when we parked up, the path that we took was to the left, which took us up quite a steep hill. Um, and there wasn't, there wasn't much sir to be fair, it was quite open. So we've decided to come up the path in and amongst the birch trees and it's absolutely lovely. The light is catching the sides of the birch trees and when it does, they just look absolutely stunning. Taking all of the shots so far handheld and just trying to sort of work some compositions with a bit more freedom of not using the tripod. So the shot that I'm trying to work on at the moment is we've come across these two birch trees here that are almost growing at the same angle, sort of with the same bend. I've been up and around trying to look at how I can maybe frame them up and try and get the two bends in the one image. I'm struggling, struggling a little bit to try and compose that shot and it may, be, it may be that I do need to get the tripod out because what I've tried to do here is use the bends in the tree to frame up the trees in the background. But when I focus on the trees at the background, obviously it throws the tree out that's closest to the lens and vice versa. So for the purpose of focus stacking, I may put the, put the tripod up, but I'm gonna try and keep it off the tripod at the moment until I find the angle, the composition that I'm happy with. But what we've been looking out for is little groups of birch trees that are together. So clusters of little birch trees, maybe three or four of them, with the nice greens and browns in the ferns. Found an absolutely lovely shot 
where there was a brown fern just sort of sticking up like almost star shaped in front of a cluster of three birch trees that looked really really nice and I suppose it's just trying to pick out simple shots but some wide shots as well if they work using the path or using the ferns um, I'm probably not going to talk you through very many images because the, it's quite windy um, so I'm having to sort of really put my shutter speed up to try and get the fern sh sharp although if there is a little bit of blur on them it might make some more interesting shots anyway so I'm going to try and work this because it is really really nice I don't know whether it looks nice to eye but won't translate into an image uh, but there's only one way to find out so I'm going to carry on and see what we can get So we've just come off the main path a little bit, um, just a little bit dubious about walking through the ferns too much, um, but there's quite a dark dominant tree here with a fern that's just catching the light beautifully and in the background you've got a lighter silver birch that branches off into two and again because the sun's in front of me it's casting some lovely light on the side. Um, Again, it's whether it looks good to eye, but doesn't translate. But, you know, I think the thing about getting, getting your camera off the tripod, which is something I don't often do at all, gives you that freedom, like I say, to take a shot. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I think what we might try and do is just sort of head a bit further into this um, little bit of a a fern fest <laughs> and see if we can get some more shots just a bit further up and then I think we'll head back to the van. So the, the thing that I really don't like when you come out to a woodland is when you've got blue sky. Um, it's sort of a little bit mixed and, and the clouds are moving quite fast to be fair I think because it's so windy but I, I'm sort of throwing caution to the wind <laughs> and taking shots so even though there is blue sky just look nice because of the light on the trees the absolute I mean there's one here it's lit up like a, a Christmas tree it's just absolutely lovely maybe as we get deeper into autumn and all of these ferns you know start changing orange and brown this place is gonna be high 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 on our revisit list it's immense oh bit of fern <laughs> um, but I think again depending on your conditions can make that difference to your image and that is something that we always say but today is just about taking some images. It literally is just a case of, we've got up this morning, come out in the van and just settled in a, in a place. And although we were gonna go on a little bit, 
we decided to sort of come back up and I'm really pleased that we did. It's beautiful. So I've just walked a bit further up there just to see if I could get any handheld shots. And there is quite a, a, a few nice images of a tree that is just sort of sitting on the top of a, a little hill there, a lovely little birch tree with a load of uh, brown ferns just in the foreground. Taking a, a few more handheld shots again with some lovely blue sky in. So I'm going to put all those up for you now. We're going to head back to the van and if there's anything else that we see, we'll, we'll bring you along with us. Tiger, call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in, I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground Okay, so we've had a, a lovely walk and uh, we've probably spent a couple of hours, haven't we? Yeah, uh, yeah. Just bimbling around sort of on the other side and then through these birch trees here. There's probably hours and hours more that you can spend having a look around and I say that it's just so beautiful yeah. to see so many birch trees all in one place in and amongst the ferns. And I've probably, I don't know how many times said that <laughs> during this video, but it's just incredible to see so many. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't really have many birch trees near home, yeah. so to come out and, and see them is, is lovely. It's just nice, nice day to come out, being quite windy, um, but no rain, which has been good. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely day. So we're going to head back to the van, yeah. get on our way home. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Adios. Adios.